Hey everybody, Jeff here, Aromatics. One of these days I'm going to have to explain where the X came from, but that's for another day. I hope everybody is doing well. I'm doing good, sitting out here enjoying a pipe, or should I say a Cobb cigar, the equivalent to a pipe, in a cigar form. I've been wanting to get out some uh, other pipes that I haven't been smoking lately, just for some variety. And maybe one of these days I'll actually do a review on this Cobb cigar. If anyone's actually interested, maybe it'll help uh, encourage me to do one if you're interested um, in me doing a little uh, review of this Cobb cigar. Just uh, leave a message in the bottom and if someone's interested then I will gladly do it. So what is packed in my pipe today is a new blend that I got in the mail and that is 140th anniversary by Savinelli, blended by Cornell and Deal. Now, a while ago, uh, Cornell and Deal came out with a limited release blend called Santa Polcro, which contained, what did it contain? Just two, uh, two ingredients, and that was Carolina Red Virginia, and I'm pretty sure it's that, uh, that really rare crop that they had, and they mixed that with some Italian dark-fired florets that they put in Tuscano cigars. I'll show you a picture of the box here. Now, you might have heard of these cigars, um, if you haven't smoked them already, you might have heard them by watching videos of Matches, 860, and Sergeant Savinelli. Uh, I've noticed that they've smoked them a couple times on their videos. So anyway, this blend here, this 140th anniversary, contains the Dark Fired Florets that's also in San Sepulchro. So when I heard when I found that out, I jumped on it right away because I really liked that Sansa Polkro, but I didn't get very, a lot of it because it was a limited release and I wasn't sure if I would like it. But by the time I realized I did, they were all out. Now this isn't the exact blend of that, but well, let me read the tin description and I'll let you know what's in it. So here we go. Maybe I'll light my pipe first. I can smoke and read. All right, so commemorating 140 years of pipe making tradition, Savinelli's 140th anniversary blend is an elegant mixture of red and bright Virginias, spiced with Orientals and choice dark fired florets from Italy, and infused with subtle notes of citrus and wildflowers for a unique and satisfying smoke. And when I first read online what was in it, the Virginias and the dark fired intrigued me but I wasn't quite sure what I thought about the citrus and wildflower notes. That kind of, I was, that made me kind of go, hmm, I wonder what that's all about. Well, we'll get to that in a minute. But first we'll do the, the usual tin note smell. Now this is just going to be a first impression, second impression video. I just received this this morning, had a bowl this morning, and now I'm smoking it for the second time in my Cobb cigar. So when I first opened it fresh, what hit me right off the right from the start was a fresh smell of clover grass. Not not your typical grassy, but the, a fresh, sweet clover grass. Uh, have you ever like eaten the tips of like the clover? You know that sweetness and, and that smell you get from the flower combined with the grass. That's the smell that I get. Now it doesn't come come off as an aromatic that way. That's just you can tell this is like that's just the tobacco itself. But the way it's blended gives that that smell of sweet grass. So that was the first time I opened it. That's pretty much what I got. But after, uh, after smoking it and coming back to it and smelling it now, I'm getting that same smell, but this time I'm getting a little bit more spice, which is that same smell I remember smelling from the San Sepulchro, which is sort of a clovey, sweet clovey spice. And also combined all together, there's an underlying essence that I'm getting sort of like is it a black forest cake where you have the chocolate cake but there's a little strip of cherry in there, just a little bit? I'm getting that essence. No, no, it's not an aromatic. You're not going to open it up and go, ooh, this is an aromatic. You're going to open it and go, mm, this smells like clover grass, or that's what I got. But if you really pick at it, you get a little bit of that spice and almost like a chocolate covered cherry. But that's really, really light. So yeah, that's what I'm getting. I, I couldn't stop smelling it. It smells pretty good. Fresh. Really fresh. So what does it taste like? Well, let me light up my pipe and I will let you know.
got my little tamper. I don't know if I can even. Ah. Yeah, I think I'm running out of tobacco. I've been smoking this for a little while. But I wrote some notes. So the first, um, the first thing I noticed when I lit it up is it's pretty light. Like I expected the Sansa Polcro is a little stronger. You get that Red Virginia right away and then you get the dark fire that hit uh, of spice and slight cigar that comes in and out. This is just really, it's Red, Red Virginia and Bright Virginia, really mellow and sweet, but not cloyingly sweet or not aromatic sweet, just a nice natural sweetness. And as you smoke it, then I'm not getting much oriental at all. It, it's just really mild, a, a real mild blend to start. And just like Sansa Polkro, every once in a while you get a hit of spice and it's sort of a, a clovey wood spice. Doesn't really remind me of a cigar necessarily. Although I did note when I was done smoking, I could taste a cigar aftertaste in my mouth. I've never had that with a pipe tobacco, but with this pipe tobacco, that's one thing I did notice is when I was done, I was like, did I just smoke a cigar? <laughs> I got that. So, and then the, the if, if you're really focusing, you do get this, I'm not really getting that much of the citrus, but I am getting sort of a dandelion and clover flower sweetness. Not quite like deer tongue not that floral and not that saccharine. This is a real natural sweetness that just comes in and out. And it is a, like a flowery. Yeah, like best thing I could say is like a clover, a clover, like if you took a piece of clover, a clover and chewed on it and you get that nice, sweet, sugary taste and a kind of a honey floral. I get that too. Now, I had a bowl earlier and I didn't really notice any tongue bite. I did feel like a little tingle on my tongue, but I didn't notice it getting hot and I didn't notice the tongue bite. It wasn't a tongue, like that, that spicy tingle I felt on my tongue just went away. So I don't think tongue bite is an issue with this. And it it seemed to stay lit half decent in my, in my regular pipe. This one has, I never really packed it that well. So um, the Cobb Cigar kind of is picky on how you pack it. So other than that, it stays lit pretty good. So yeah, that's just uh, pretty much my quick first impressions on it. So I think I might want to smoke it a little more and, and maybe I might end up doing another review because I know there's those, these little nuances of that sweetness and that floral that, that I, I, that's there, but I haven't really fully, fully fleshed it out yet. So um, yeah, great blend. Maybe a little bit light for me. I like a little bit more oomph to my tobacco and I'm surprised because with the components that are in it, you would really figure it would be a, a stronger blend, but it's, it's mild to, to mild medium at the most. So if the components sound intriguing, but you're afraid that it might be too strong for you, I don't think that's a problem at all. I think it's pretty, pretty mild. So, all right, I guess that's all I have to say about this tobacco. I hope you guys are well and uh, I look forward to doing more reviews. So we'll see you then. Take it easy. Aromatics, signing out.